The kidneys are bilateral bean-shaped organs, reddish-brown in color and located in the posterior abdomen, and their main function is to filter and excrete waste products from the blood. So, how do kidneys filter blood? Kidneys are made up of about a million filtering units called nephrons, and each nephron includes a filter called the glomerulus and the tubule. The nephrons work through a two-step process. First step is glomerular filtration. As blood flows into each nephron, it enters a cluster of tiny blood vessels called the glomerulus, and this glomerulus filters the blood into the Bauman space. The filtered product is called glomerular filtrate. Glomerular filtration happens through filtration barrier. Filtration barrier consists of three layers. First layer is the endothelium of the capillary. Now the capillary endothelium is perforated by thousands of small holes. Water and small solutes can pass through these holes. Although the holes are relatively large, the endothelial layer is richly endowed with fixed negative charges, and these negative charges hinder the passage of plasma proteins. After the filtrate passes through the endothelial layer, there's a basement membrane, which consists of a meshwork of collagen and proteoglycan fibrillae. This layer has large spaces through which large amounts of water and small solutes can filter. However, the basement membrane effectively prevents filtration of plasma proteins in part because of strong negative electrical charges associated with the protoglycans. And the final part of the filtration barrier is a layer of epithelial cells, which are called podocytes, that line the outer surface of the glomerulus. These cells are non-continuous but have long foot-like processes that encircle the outer surface of the capillaries. The foot processes are separated by gaps through which the glomerular filtrate moves. The epithelial cells, which also have negative charges, provide additional restriction to filtration of plasma proteins. Thus, all layers of the glomerular capillary wall provide a barrier to filtration of plasma proteins, so blood cells and plasma proteins are not filtered through the glomerular capillaries. However, any small molecules such as water, glucose, salts, amino acids, and urea pass freely into Bauman space. Now, in the second step, the tubule returns needed substances to your blood and removes waste. As the filtered fluid moves through the tubule, the blood vessels running alongside the tubule reabsorbs almost all of the water, along with minerals and nutrients the body needs, and the remaining fluids and waste in the tubule become urine. Now, one of the measures of kidney functions is the glomerular filtration rate, or GFR which is the total amount of filtrate produced by all the glomeruli in both kidneys in a minute. And mathematically, GFR is the net filtration pressure multiplied by the filtration coefficient, or KF. The net filtration pressure represents the sum of the hydrostatic pressures, which are fluid pressures, and oncotic pressures, which are pressures based on the amounts of protein that are present on either side of the barrier. These pressures include hydrostatic pressure inside the glomerular capillaries, which promotes filtration. The hydrostatic pressure in Bauman's capsule outside the capillaries, which opposes filtration. The colloid osmotic pressure of the glomerular capillary plasma proteins, which opposes filtration. And the colloid osmotic pressure of the proteins in Bauman's capsule, which promotes filtration. Under normal conditions, the concentration of proteins in the glomerular filtrate is so low, the colloid osmotic pressure of Bowman's capsule fluid is considered to be zero. Together, these three pressures determine the net filtration pressure of the glomerulus, which is the difference between the force-favoring filtration, hydrostatic pressure inside the glomerular capillaries, and the two forces opposing filtration, hydrostatic pressure of filtrate in Bowman's space, plus oncotic pressures of proteins in capillary blood. So the net filtration pressure is that gives us hydrostatic pressure inside the glomerular capillaries minus hydrostatic pressure of filtrate in Bauman space, plus oncotic pressures of proteins in capillary blood. Now KF indicates how permeable a capillary is to fluid, and it depends on the surface area that's available for fluid filtration, as well as the permeability of the glomeruli. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.